Yes, follow the lead of your CAO. <laughs> Please be seated. Good evening, dignitaries, council elect, family, friends, staff, and constituents. My name is Tim Mills. I'm the CEO of the township. We are pleased to welcome you to the special council meeting this evening for the inauguration of our new council that will represent South Glengarry for the next four years. It's time to get to work. But I can tell you by reading the row up here in front, it's a lot less stressful than it was three weeks ago for many people. Tonight's a night to celebrate and be happy with family and friends. Would you please now stand for the playing of our national anthem? Please be seated. We are now going to ask for a few of our special guests this evening to bring congratulations and greetings. Before we do that, uh, regrets from our MPP Nolan Quinn who is sitting at the provincial legislature uh, this evening. First, I'd like to invite Eric Duncan, our member of parliament, up to speak. Good evening, everybody. I always say as a federal MP in Eastern Ontario, it's much easier where the House of Commons is sitting. I made it with about 10 seconds to spare. Maybe I was 10 seconds late this evening. Uh, but it means the opportunity to be able to join Council-elect, soon to be the Council momentarily, and give congratulations in person. In small town ridings like Stormont, Dundas, and South Glengarry, you get to know that there are many councils, and you get to know all the members and often the candidates that are running in municipal life. I will just say tonight, as you take your oaths to the residents of South Glengarry, I am very confident you're going to be well served by the new mayor, the returning council members, and the returning, returning council member uh, in Trevor as well. Um, I think one of the things we have as a goal, or one of the things we always say in public life, is you want good people to step forward that represent the community, that have the best interests and want to get things done for the betterment of our communities. And again, not only is there a great council about to be sworn in, I think the experience and the wide range of life experiences that you bring to the table is going to serve well over the course of the next four years. They are going to come with challenges. We know those, and we'll, I'm sure in your first budget we'll get to those challenges. But I want you to know, as your federal representative, my door is always open, and I look forward to working with you on projects that can make the quality of life and the uh, cost of living arrangement in South Glengarry a beneficial one for all. Congratulations and all the best. Now we'd like to invite Warden Karma Williams from the United Counties of Stormont, Dundas and Glengarry. Thank you very much, Tim. Uh, it is my pleasure to bring greetings and congratulations from the United Counties of Stormont, Dundas, and Glengarry. Uh, this is, I do believe, my final official duty as warden, but I do want to say that uh, it is going to be a real pleasure working around the table with uh, Mayor-elect 
McDonald and Deputy Mayor-elect Lang. Uh, we're gonna miss you, Stephanie, <laughs> around the council table, but it will be an exciting year coming up and I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations to Councillor McDonnell and Councillor Bougie on your uh, most recent election again and uh, congratulations to all. We look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. We would now like to invite Justin Towndale, mayor-elect for the city of Cornwall, to say a few words. Well, good evening, everyone. It's my absolute pleasure to be here with you again. I had the privilege of bringing greetings from the city of Cornwall in 2018 when I was a councillor. Now I get to do it as the mayor-elect. To the incoming council, congratulations. I've had the pleasure of working with everyone on this side of the room over the past eight years, and Lachlan, I'm looking very much forward to working with you as well. Partnerships are important, and that's something I stress during my campaign. I've tried to stress during my time on council, and I want to build a stronger partnership with South Glengarry, and that's something I've made clear. I think there's areas where we have talked about in the past, including water, and that's something I'm a fa in favor of, uh, of providing water to South Glengarry. I know the airport has been uh, an important issue in recent years as well, and that's something I want to work closely on and perhaps re-explore council's decision as well, but that's something that I'll need to discuss with my council. But again, I, I am looking forward to working with each and every one of you. Congratulations, and all the best to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Towndale. We would also like to acknowledge uh, other special guests that are here from uh, the lower tiers. And if you could uh, just be recognized. Uh, Mayor Tony Fraser from the Township of North Dundas. <laughs> Mayor Brian McGillis from the Township of South Stormont. <laughs> Mayor Frank Landry from the Township of North Stormont. Mayor-elect Jason Broad from the Township of South Dundas. And Deputy Mayor-elect from the Township of South Dundas, Mark St. Pierre. I hope I didn't miss anybody. <laughs> I will now turn things over to our clerk, Mrs. Kelly Campbell. Thanks, Tim. So I now have the, uh, the pleasure. I know it's not, you guys don't think this is a pleasure coming up here and having to read this long paper, but I get to call you up and sign it with you. So we'll start with our mayor-elect, uh, Lachlan McDonald. Oh, you've been practicing. Okay, so Lachlan, I'm just gonna ask you to please read the declaration of office and then we'll sign it when you come. Okay, thank you. So. I, Lachlan McDonald, uh, having, no. <laughs> I guess I can change that. <laughs> so, I, Lachlan McDonald, having been elected or appointed to the office of mayor in the municipality of South Glengarry, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, indirect, direct, oh sorry, pecuniary interest, direct or indirect in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, and make the solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. Now call upon uh, Deputy Mayor-elect Martin Lang. Yeah. 
Hi, Martin Lang. Having been elected or appointed to the office of Deputy Mayor in the Municipality of South Glengarry, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty the King, Charles III. And I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously and believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if I had made it under oath. upon Councillor-elect Stephanie Jaworski. Thank you. I, Stephanie Jaworski, having been elected or having been elected to the office of Councillor in the Municipality of South Glengarry, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, and I make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously, believing it to be true, and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if it is made under oath. Thank you. And we'll now call upon Councillor elect Sam, Sam McDonnell. I, Sam McDonnell, having been elected or appointed to the office of councillor in the municipality of South Glengarry, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the ex exercise of this office in a bias, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose any particular pecuniary interest, direct or indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty the King Charles III, and I make this solemn promise and declare conscientiously believing it to be true, knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath. call upon Councillor-elect Trevor Bougie. I, Trevor Bougie, having been elected or appointed to the office of Councillor in the Municipality of South Glengarry, do solemnly promise and declare that I will truly, faithfully, and impartially exercise this office to the best of my knowledge and ability. I have not received and will not receive any payment or reward or promise thereof for the exercise of this office in a biased, corrupt, or any improper manner. I will disclose any pecuniary interest, direct or indir indirect, in accordance with the Municipal Conflict of Interest Act. I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III. And I do, I do make this solemn promise and declaration conscientiously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath.
And with that, we are now going to move on to the uh, official uh, inaugural meeting. And I will hand things over to our chair, Mayor Lachlan McDonald. All right, first we'll start with our call to order, moved by Martin Lang, seconded by Stephanie Jaworski. Be it resolved that the November 14th, 2022 inaugural meeting of the Township of South Glengarry now be open at 7.19 p.m. I now put it, oh, all those in favor? Carried. And now we'll move to expressions from South Langaria Council members. Okay, perfect. So if I could call upon Councillor Trevor Bougie. Is it okay if I do it from here? Sure, if you're comfortable, if you want, you can go up on the podium too. Um, first off, I would like to thank staff throughout the whole election process. It was a, a grind, a six weeks or two months of door to door, very uh, busy and I have to thank my team, uh, my family of course, my parents, my beautiful wife. Uh, she put up uh, with quite a bit over the, that time and held down the fort. As you can see, I have two young boys over there and uh, they're a handful, so <laughs> it definitely takes a team effort. Uh, I would like to thank all the digni dignitaries here tonight, and it's great to see councils from all SDNG and MP Eric Duncan, and and it's uh, you know it's a testament to how important it is to work together in this area to get things done. Uh, <laughs> partnerships, whether it's affordable housing, water, wastewater. You heard uh, Justin Townsdale. We should have got him to sign for water, <laughs> but he snuck out. I know he had a meeting uh, later, so. Um, airport as well is going to be on a docket, very important uh, things to our area, uh, as well as, as mutual aid. So we have mutual aid with quite a few townships in this, in this building right now, so that's great. Uh, moving forward, we'd like to see council uh, taking on local issues and cell receptions, internet, um, our big things on the docket, natural gas, and again, affordable housing is a big issue in this area at the moment. Um, we have to look after our road network, uh, infrastructure with a solid... Uh, asset management plan, you know, that we have to stretch every dollar we can to make it happen. So I'm looking forward to promote as well our Celtic branding, and uh, I'm passionate about our history, if you don't know, and I'm committed to the future, and I'm truly honored and humbled to be serving the great residents of South Glengarry for a third time as councillor. Thank you very much. Councillor Sam McDonnell. taller than me. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Merci à mes uh, collègues du conseil, les dignitaires, mes amis mes, et mon famille. Uh, thank you to all, all the members of council for being here as well as the dignitaries, friends and family. Um, we gather here to celebrate a new beginning and a shared new future for a better South Glengarry. We'll be tasked with the undertaking and continue to undertake more important issues uh, within the township, be it roads, internet, public services, and the improved infrastructure, water and wastewater as well. It's, it's, I think we're, we're very blessed with the amount of people we have, or the, the quality of people we have sitting around the council table with us. And I think going forward, there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve for all of us. And as far as getting to, to know how we all work together well in gel, um, we were very fortunate in the last council. We see it in different places where councils don't always get along, and we've always been very fortunate. And I don't think there's a doubt in my mind that we'll have a, an issue here that we'll all be very fortunate and work together very well. So please thank you to everybody for, for coming out this evening and look forward to uh, the next four years and what it'll bring. Councillor Stephanie Jaworski.
Good evening. Bonsoir. Uh, so I can report that being piped in never gets old. So thank you very much, DJ, for doing that for us. And thank you to everyone who's involved in um, organizing this inaugural meeting and uh, echoing what's been said already. Thank you to the dignitaries from the other regions who are here tonight in support. Karma, I will miss being at the county's table. Uh, but your presence, all of you who are here, um, those networks and the partnership across the region are just so vitally important to our success. So thank you for being here in support. Um, je profite aussi de l'occasion pour remercier mes concitoyens de Glengarry Sud pour leur participation durant la campagne. Uh, la politique locale est très, très, très importante. Alors merci d'avoir assisté au débat, d'avoir lu le matériel électoral que vous avez reçu et d'avoir participé à les discussions lorsque nous avons frappé à vos portes. So thank you to my fellow citizens of South Glengarry for your participation in the process. Local politics really do matter, so thank you for attending all the all-candidates debates, reading through election material, or engaging when we knocked on your door. Thank you very much to my friends, old and new, who encouraged me or supported me through the campaign. I can't thank you enough for that support. And thank you so much to the over 3,000 neighbors who put their trust in me. It's truly humbling. It's an honor to serve, and it's a responsibility I take to heart every day. I have to specifically thank my husband, Ron, and my kids, Odessa, Roman, and Zena. It's impossible to do this without family support. And I also have to thank my mom, Anna, who was my number one campaign volunteer. Uh, I'd like to take this last opportunity to thank outgoing council members Lyle Warden and Rebecca Luck for their service to the township. You know, I'm proud of what we accomplished in this past term, particularly in spite of all the challenges that were thrown our way. I'm most proud of our focus on the work and being respectful of each other and our, very, our varied opinions, which is what Councillor McDonald has already said. Uh, the last four years have been a crash course for me in the wide scope of issues that we can influence at the municipal level and those we cannot. And I hope that, and I believe that that's knowledge that will be make, make me more effective for you, the taxpayer, the residents. But uh, if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that a variety of experience and perspectives that represent as much of the community as possible lead to the best decisions. So I'll keep that thought top of my mind as I go forward to ensure that we can do all that we can to eliminate barriers and encourage representation from all members of our community. A lot has changed in the last four years. For one, Sam got married. Also, we, we swore an oath to the king at now as opposed to the queen. Um, so at the township, we had a significant wave of retirements and we've had a significant wave of new employees join the township. The faces I see this evening are very different than what they were four years ago. And, uh, but we ha and we have big challenges ahead of us. And we have, you know, we have, for example, the significant infrastructure investments that are needed. And we have a national housing crisis that is calling on all areas of the country to do their part. But I think we have a team that's well positioned for the future and is up to the challenge. To my fellow councillors, Councillor McDonnell, Councillor Bougie, and Deputy Mayor Lang, and Mayor McDonald, and to all the township employees, I'm looking forward to working with or continuing to work with you. And I said this four years ago, but I think it's a commitment that's worth repeating. I know that we will probably disagree and probably quite strongly at some point over the next four years, but I give you my word that I will always try, strive to be respectful and constructive and work hard towards our common goal, which is the betterment of the township of South Bangary. So thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Bonne soirée à tous. Deputy Mayor Martin Lang. Thank you, Mayor McDonald, through you. Welcome, everyone. It's, uh, it's great to be here. It's been a, kind of a long fall for most of us, and uh, including some of the dignitaries in the front row. You guys have all, most of you have had to go through similar things. So uh, welcome. Thank you for coming out. Thank you to the public for coming out and staff for coming out. We appreciate it as kind of a formality, this meeting, but it's, uh, it's a very important one, and it's kind of the start of the next four years. So nice to get it off on the right foot. And uh, looking forward to working with uh, the council we have, our new mayor, I think uh, I think things are going to go well. I'm, I'm quite sure that we're going to we're going to accomplish hopefully as much as we did the last four years. And uh, just to the public, keep 
doing what you're doing. You know, you're good to get a hold of most of us. Let us know what's on your mind, issues that you're facing. Don't, you know, people call and sometimes they apologize that they're calling to maybe complain about something, but we need to know these things. So keep that up. We don't need to nag us, but we do want to know what's on people's mind and we will do our best to, to deal with those things and we'll try to move this township forward. So thank you everyone for coming out and I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm probably the least refined speaker of the bunch, having no political experience. But I'd like to uh, take a moment to do two things. One would be uh, a few thanks out there, and then a little bit about uh, what, what I hope to bring. It won't be too long, I promise you. I'd like to thank my mom, who's unavailable tonight. Uh, it, it, is, it is her birthday. She's just turned 29, so she's, she continues to be the youngest one of our family. So I'd like to thank her for all her help. I'd like to thank my dad for for everything he's done to get me here. I promise him a golf cart next time if we do this election because he walked from Quebec to Cornwall on County Road 2 across the, across the township. So thank you there, family, for all you helped me with. There was a lot of quiet support and loud support. The quiet support kind of brought me here and the loud support pulled me across the line. So I'd like to thank those in the audience and those in the electronic or audience for, uh, for all your help. I, I know it's, uh, it was greatly appreciated. The dignitaries, thank you. We all kind of get in this for the same reason, to. Um, to advance our cause, and I guess I'll, I'll highlight two of you since I'm going to be working with all of you, but I'll be working for two of you for the next several months, so uh, so I, be kind. <laughs> but thank you all for showing up. Um, it is great to see you, and I look forward to seeing where we can uh, work together to uh, save money or deliver better service, and hopefully both uh, on a few occasions, because uh, we, we do mostly the same thing, so, so let's not be strangers and let, let's share our opportunities with each other. Uh, for the community for allowing me to return, and to uh, Casey, most of all, for all the behind the scenes work. I was going to point her out, but she told me not to. But uh, thank you very much, Casey. It's much appreciated. Everything you've done in the last little bit, and obviously for the last uh, little while. So elections do bring about different of opinions, and I, I think we've all kind of discussed that. Difference of opinions is a good thing. Um, but the principles behind those opinions are, are, are the same. We're all here wanting to do what our best is for our municipality. And we will have cordial and civil disagreements, and, and I want to have those. I don't want uh, this to be groupthink where, where we all get along. That goes for our local council as well as council at the counties. Um, it, it's great to uh, disagree appropriately and then come to a great, great answer because sometimes in those little spices of life, whenever you're having a, a difference of thought, um, you'll, you'll find a better answer for the community. Uh, we are lucky that uh, we get to support a wonderful community, the people of South Langary, of STNG. Uh, on the upper tier level, and uh, we have a great location. St. Lawrence is right there. Infrastructure needs are talked about. Asset management planning will be at the forefront. We have to fund it, fund it uh, and find uh, creative ways to do that. It's not uh, an easy way where you can say we're going to increase service and uh, increase taxation. Generally, we now have to talk about increase, just even to maintain the levels of service, uh, we're talking increases, so we, we have to deal with that appropriately because we've all said it, we've, we've probably all heard it, it's why, spend it wisely, it's hard earned. Uh, and listening to the needs of the community, I think that's, that's what I did best for myself this time was we knocked on many doors and we listened. Uh, and a few things that were, I, I needed to impart because they were shared with me, so I'll share them with the community and you can hold me accountable uh, because I wish to be accountable. Uh, when we spend money, review who it benefits because we know who it, who the charge goes to, and that, that's our residents. Um, we need to support the natural environment. Um, that was loud and clear. I, I don't have the answer for that. I asked everybody for the answer when they told me that uh, they want an answer, and I said, help me, so please, let's come to a conclusion that works for everybody, and if it doesn't work for everybody, at least make it a very good decision uh, for most of everybody. <laughs> and I noticed a lot of people wanted to age in place, so I, I guess that comes with a healthy community, healthy homes. Uh, let's work towards that with our uh, multi-levels of government, so uh, thank you. Uh, I take from my father some, some good advice on how to run a municipality, and I brought it to strategic planning a few years ago, and it's you have your gotta-do's, your ought-to-do's, and your wanna-do's. Your ought-to-do's, gotta-do's are often legislative. There's some of those that we do not want to do. We don't want to always be where we are, but uh, we're required to do so. We need health and safety. Then there's ought-to-do's. Uh, that's good government, and then there's wanna do's, and that's kind of the flavor of life. So, if I may, I'm nearing wrapping up, so I'll just tell a little story. 
is um, there was a professor, and I'm sure you've heard this one, with a glass jar and some rocks, filled it up and said, is it full? Class said yes. Brought out some pebbles, filled that jar. Is it full now? Yes, they, they yang chorused. Put sand in, shook it up, and there, there's a full jar. Everybody's wonderful. Okay, there's a lesson. He goes in, goes to the bar back here, picks out a rebel's lager, pours it in, tops it up. Now surely it's full. And that represents your community. Your got-to-dos are your rocks. If you put your sand in there first, there's no room for the things you need to do. So we need to do what we need to do, and we need to know how to do it. Then you put your rocks, your spice of life, and then uh, you ask, what's the beverage for? That's the Williamstown Fair, the Maxwell Highland Games, the Newington Fairs. That, that's where you have a lot of fun. You're meet me on Main Streets. You know, there, we have these things, and that, that's where you get the fun. So don't forget to have a little bit of fun as we build to the needs, because it's always easy to support needs, but the community needs us as well. So I, I reflect finally on this moment. It's, it's 10 months to the day that I, I last left South Glengarry, and um, I'm just grateful and happy to have been given the opportunity to come back, and I'm excited to get to work for, for you, with you, with you, and let's get some stuff done. Thank you very much. That's CAO Tim Mills. That's the first help they want. <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. On behalf of uh, staff, I want to thank you to uh, to its new council now, not council elect, and that you see the support here from staff. And uh, we're certainly looking forward to getting to work now. It's kind of been slowed down for eight weeks, but we're raring to go. Mm -hmm. I also want to thank uh, DJ. He corrected me when I called him Mr. McDonald tonight. So DJ, thank you for piping in tonight, but also must be a proud moment for you to to pipe in your son as mayor. And um, lastly, I, I uh, want to thank the clerk, the deputy clerk, and our communications officer for all of the work uh, that, that you see tonight. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to get ready for an inauguration that just doesn't happen. And uh, I know that they'll be uh, pleased when you get to the refreshments and, uh, and have a celebration tonight. So I'll turn it back to you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So our next scheduled meeting will be November 21st at uh, the 2020-22. Oh, my goodness. I'm going <laughs> to... November 21st, 2022. And then I'm going to move for adjournment, but before I do that, I'd like to invite everyone to stay for refreshments that they're here and some conversation. Uh, so moved by Stephanie Jaworski, seconded by Martin Lang, be it resolved that the meeting adjourn to the call of the chair at 7.36 p.m. All in favor? Carried. <laughs>